Hey love bugs, it's Riles, I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed today. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and I definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And for my returning subs, my extended family, thank you so much for the love and support that you show me and you show your fellow, you know, family members, you know, our empathic fellow family members. You send out love and kind vibes, and that is so beautiful to see each and every day. And I mean, y'all keep up the good work. I love y'all, and I am so grateful for y'all. And it is just a blessing that, you know, this channel is growing so fast. I got about five or six views yesterday. Well, I'm actually doing it, you know, you know, filming today, but y'all won't see this video until the next day. So it's just a blessing to, just to see the subscribe, you know, the channel just growing like that. And it's just blessing you know even if it's four or five it's still you know four or five more than I had yesterday so but not for me to carry on for that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are yet to come for you if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not yet what are you waiting for like and subscribe even hit that notification bell down there so you know when I'm about to upload my next video and if you feel like you're comfortable enough go ahead reach out and pop that keyboard I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me or even if it's about the positive feedback of the video you want to talk about the content or it's just you want to talk about the impact the gift that has been placed upon you all is welcome as long as it's positive and if you feel like my video just puts you in a good spirit or it's just you know you really got some clarity from it what do you you know spread the love don't be stingy go ahead and let somebody else know it they may need to hear it too so give me a thumbs up like and even share it's all greatly appreciated and the relaxing the relaxing music that I'm listening to in the background hopefully y'all don't hear that the TV in the background so I do apologize if you do um, is relaxing music for stress relief soothing music for meditation healing therapy sleep uh, sleep and spa I will post that link in the description box below and my video today is about twin flame 101 hey Oak is getting the bigger picture you know, it's just like we go through so much and we're on our journey and we try to get so much peace. Y'all, hold on, because that TV is aggravating me. So I know if it probably aggravates me, y'all probably hear it in the background. So pause for the calls. I apologize for that. I'm back, y'all. I'm so back. <laughs> I had to turn that TV down because it was sidetracking me. It was, I mean, really, you know, not sidetracking me, but it was distracting me. I said sidetracking. But yeah, oh y'all, y'all like my hair. Y'all can't really see it. I turned it back purple. Um, it's like a great color. I don't know what it is, but ever since I turned my my hair color, it's like my energy, my aura is just like changed. I get so peaceful, and it's just like I got all these downloads, and it's just crazy. So I'm just uploading like crazy today. You know, I love it when I get like that, when I have so much content. Thank you. Much shout outs and big up to my, my um, extended sis, Joan. She hooked me up with this video today from, Al well, yesterday. Well, when you see this, it'll be yesterday. Um, from Aphrodite Stone. And she was like, me and her were pretty much on the same thing. Like, we were vibing, talking about energy, vampires, vultures, and stuff. Well, I don't use those words. But, you know, I've used energy vampires before, you know, because you can be around people that can suck the dear life out of you. Suck the life out of you. But, you know, back to what I was talking about, it's like we go on this journey and we, you know, and it's a blessing to do what I do and enjoy what I do. You know, even though I'm not, you know, like some of the big YouTubers and stuff like that, but I'm getting there. And it's a true blessing when I can see people just subscribing left and right. You know, and they might not even drop a note or anything, but like, it is a blessing when people can come and tell me, you know what, I needed to hear that message today. I needed to hear that today, you know, and it feels good to know, you know what, I, you know, I thought there was something wrong with me. And you know, there's a lot of things that we go through in life and we feel like, you know, things are wrong with us and... You know, signs come to us in all different kind of walks of life. You know, it can be people. It can be posts. It can be some random stranger on the street just might blurt out and come out and say something. It's like, dang, I really need you to hear this today. And why? How did they know? The universe places us on, on levels that we need to be at a certain time. 
and we're trying to get that peace and understanding and i mean ooh, baby just to get that good feeling in my heart just to know i got peace you know and i might not be exactly where i want to be right now but it's just like when you're at that moment when you know that you have nothing to worry about i'm i'm starting to become starting to see the bigger picture of the things why I had to go through why I had to go through you know why I had to vlog the way I do because there's just so many people are out there just like me and you um that go through this life and trying to get that understanding of life and trying to wonder why why we act the way we act why do we respond the way we respond why are we you know we're so anti when it comes to certain people why do we just like freak out like <laughs> our auras just freak out at times when you know we're there's just something right not right about people and so it, it's just like I had to go through all my trials and tribulations because number one I like to talk a lot and I run my mouth a lot. You know, it was supposed to, you know, my sister used to, you know, nickname Winchester. I couldn't hold nothing. But I needed to go through all the stuff I can go through so I can go run and tell that. And it, it's just, it's brought me so much joy, you know, not to see people that, you know, having issues. But just to know that they are not alone. There's somebody out here that's being a spokesperson for me. It's just basically that makes me feel like that's what I'm doing, you know, and it makes me feel good that when I can, you know, people reach out to me and ask me, Rosalind, what would you do if you were in this situation or how should I handle this? And it's not like I'm asking like I'm the CEO of anything, but it's just when you when you can look at your 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 tragedies as blessings that has entered your life that is a peaceful feeling that is a beautiful feeling because I feel like all my tragedies became a blessing because it has brought some kind of positive lesson to my forefront of my life you know the chapter of my life that I'm writing because it's just like when I can see people come back and tell me and I mean it's just y'all's comments there's days that I cry and I tell y'all that a lot because I'm not lying I'm not trying to kiss no butt or whatever like that I tell you what's up with me I keep it 150 250 I keep it real there's days that I fall short there's days that my sobriety is just really messed up but it's just like now when you just have that when you don't have that weight on, of the world on your shoulders like that and it's just like sometimes I feel bad when I can tell somebody no but it feels good because it, it's just like when you can feel that vibe and you can tell you know, like I always go to the store, you know, almost every other day or, you know, once, you know, during the weekend. And I always have somebody trying to panhandle me, trying to run a scam. But there are some people are out there that reaches out that really does need that help. And it would get to that point where, you know, there was always somebody asking for change and you give them change and they see how much money you got. Then they trying to hoodwink you again. And then there would get times that I would reach out and help somebody. And then when it comes time for me to do the things I need to do, I'll be short. And then I have to end up having to get that, you know, I would get the blessing of, the, you know, just so happen I'll go to a store where the cashier would know me because I've been there so many times. And they were just like, they seen that I helped somebody. And I'll be aggravated because I fell short, but I end up getting that blessing in return. But I learned my lesson. When you get that bad vibe off of somebody, you see that, you know, they can get up early enough to come beg you for something. They can get up early enough and go back for a job. <laughs> you know, so it's just like, you know, God knows your heart. And it just feels bad when, you know, there would be times where I would cry because I would be wanting to do more and couldn't do more. But I had to step back and reevaluate myself. And it's just like, what are you doing? You are taking away from yourself so much that what you need, you're not going to have enough for yourself. So you need to take care of self too. So it's okay for you to be able to, you're getting the big, bigger picture of yourself because it's just what us being empaths, you know, a lot of people step on us because they see us as a target. They see us as like, oh, that weak-minded person or that soft-hearted person or oh, they're stupid. No, it's not the fact that we're stupid. It's just that we look past, we look past all the flaws. We look past, we try to find the goodness in everything. And that's our problem. But then we learn things from our mishaps. We learn things from our mistakes. You know, when you, when you can stop being hard on yourself and know, you know, I'm going down, down this path for a reason. I went through these 
I had these problems and these trials and tribulations for a reason. You don't play a victim. You you know, you don't play pity party. And if you do, when you find out things happen to you, okay, I give myself that five minute rule. Or if I can talk to somebody, talk about that mess for five minutes and then you move on for something else. Because, I mean, feeling sorry for yourself is not doing anything. You lashing out at other people is not doing anything except hurting yourself and hurting other people. And that's a lot of daggone apologies you going to have to go back to. So when you can focus yourself on knowing the bigger picture on the things that you're going through, it, it becomes so much easier. You know, even though the situations might be hard at times, but it gives you... It gives you that peace of mind and knowing, yeah, I have to go through this, but I know the universe is going to help me see myself out of this. You know, you might not be able to have people help save you, but there's times when you have to be able to save yourself. You know, there's always not, you know, you like my dad said, you know, when he's saying, let's go crazy, you know, when you face it, you on this world, you in this world on your own. You have to learn. You know, it's just like when we, when we're born, our parents raise us, you know, they try to teach us through right and wrongs, the things that you do to be careful for. Don't talk to strangers, don't cross the street, you know, on yellow or, you know, watch out for, you know, watch out for stuff like that. So it's just that we all have to learn from all the experiences that we go through and we have to be grateful for all the things that we go through because we wouldn't have found the strength. We wouldn't have found the knowledge. We wouldn't have found the wisdom if we didn't stumble upon things we didn't stumble upon. You know, I, I you know, when I get blessings each and every day, it's just like when my subscribers, even when I might be feeling low, y'all, y'all know exactly what to say at the exact time. And that is a true blessing to me. You know, when you can come to me and tell me, Rosalind, you know, I'm totally feeling this video today. Oh, you had me laughing, this and this and that. I love the fact that I can bring joy and brighten up your day. You know, give you some kind of peace and understanding to know you are not by yourself. You know, we're going to go through things, but that's life. That's the circle of life. But you know that you grow and learn from each and everything you go through. So I hope you were able to get something out of this video. You know, like, share, thumbs up. You know, spread the word. You know, bring some more people by. You know, we, we all need we all need some wisdom through our awakening. And remember, you are blessed and you are highly favored. And you, you stay prosperous. And know that there's always somebody out there that loves you and is always praying for your better days and i will see you on my next video like and subscribe even hit that notification bell drop me a line or two i love the chance to hear from you and i'll talk to you later peace and be wild